Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Nightmare of Eden Part 2. I hope you're all doing really well. If you are new here, my name is Marie Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. Wet hair Marie Claire is back in full force. I've got a satin shirt on and wet hair. Like, who do I think I am? Um, Marie Claire is who I am. It's just... I don't know, like I just find it super easy now that my hair's a bit shorter just to like jump in the shower, wash my hair, get ready and then I just film. It also just shows how comfortable I am with you guys. Maybe I'm just lazy, who knows? Um, I am really, it's also super early on a Sunday and I'm here filming, like I just, where's this efficiency come from, you know? I guess it's because I have to cram more time in like more things in now that I've got more stuff going on but yeah I hope you're all doing really well I am really excited to see where this story goes a lot of you have been saying that it's underrated so yeah I mean that's either going to go down the route that I'm so sorry I always have a really itchy nose when I'm on here maybe I'm allergic to you guys that would be awkward um I yeah I just I don't, yeah, I, it could go down the route. Like, I really enjoyed The Creature from the Pit, so. And that was weird. So this has definitely got Carnival of Monsters vibe with the machine that the, the professor scientist guy was using. So, yeah, it would just be really interesting to see what happens with that monster as well. And, um, like, the guy in the jungle bit. So, yes, we shall see um if you are interested in the full length they're over on patreon if you would like to support my channel in any way um all of the links are below and it's really bright i've had to close my curtains a bit it's really bright um so if i'm a bit squinty i'm sorry and let's go Don't know. First a collision, then a dead navigator, and now a monster roaming about my ship. It's totally inexplicable. Nothing's inexplicable. Then explain it. Passengers could have boarded on board the ship. Dimension. Oh, I've scanned it. Still, I'll scan the Empress again. The black soil must be far. Good, bad stuff. Bad stuff. It's the worst. I've seen whole planets ravaged by it while the merchants make fortunes. Your people knew it would be on board, did they? My people? Well, you're an agent, aren't you? No. I'm the doctor. I keep telling you that. Yes, but who do you work for? W work for? Myself. I can work for anybody. I'm just having fun. Scan. Can you check the whole ship with this? Every nook and cranny. Who was that? She knows something's up with it. So that one was meant for Romana. I bet it's that? him. It's all your fault. You were Could be him though. It was him, because he wanted Romana 
to have the drink because she'd seen something she shouldn't have. he had the the drink What was in that drink? One of the drugs? Right, he's one of the passengers. Oh, he had scratch marks on him. This is interesting. Well, he's high. There's just so much going on. Oh, my voice. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> I thought you told the doctor you wouldn't use the CT again. Ah, yes, but I'm using it for his benefit, Della. Oh. Yes, the doctor is looking for someone on his ship who is carrying Brex oil. I just ask him. Was it Scott? Of course not. I knew him. He wouldn't do anything like that. Then why did he disappear for two hours on Eden? The day before he was killed. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Of course. Rick said Tristan Della were the only ones from the expedition to come aboard. Stop. With their drug smuggling. He's hit the bottle. Did you hear that? Della hit it. I mean, unless maybe it is her. Power unit. Awaiting instructions, Master. This is Water Guard Fisk and landing officer Costa of the Azurian Air. Good, good. Now listen, can I see your hide plaque? Can I just tell you? Let me see it. This is now on this ship. The plaque, please, sir. And yours, please. Quick, Romano, see you, teach you. Quickly. It's running. Skip me deep. Power, you do. Just have a fear of mine. Come on. We can't. 
Go on, go in. I'm glad they've got in there. I feel like now is now it's gonna get exciting. So we're essentially it's drug smuggling. That's what's that's what's happening. Trist thinks it's Della. I don't I mean unless she's a very good liar. I wouldn't suspect it was her. Initially, I thought it was Trist, but maybe it's the captain of the other ship. I don't know. Now we're going to find Scott. Why is the mon why is that weird monster there? That's what I don't get as well. Like, I really like the rest of this story. I just find it very confusing that there's a weird creature there. Like, where's that come from? But I really liked some of the sequences with the Doctor chasing that guy, even though they were, you know, obviously like reused scenes and stuff. And I really like the set. So it'd be cool. And I always say this, I really like it when there's a variation of sets. So it would be really nice seeing where the Doctor and Romana are now and what is going to happen. Maybe that's where the creature is. I would assume that's where the creature is from. Um... I'm enjoying it. I'm actually really enjoying it. I really like Trist. I really like Trist. Um, so let's leave it there for today. Thank you as always for joining me. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon.